so welcome to my new video our today's question is valid triangle number okay so you are given a array nums return the number of triplets chosen from the array that can make a triangles if we consider them as a length of the triangle okay as a side lengths of a triangle okay so now let's understand how the trip uh, how the three sides can be a triangle a valid valid triangle before that if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button okay so if these these are the three sides of a triangle then uh, how we can determine this is a valid triangle or not we simply there is a condition a plus b it is greater than c and b plus c if it is greater than a then c plus a it is greater than b if these three conditions are satisfied that means the triangle is a valid triangle but okay now what is the brute force brute force doesn't allowed us this gives us tle because okay let's see how we can brute force okay we can just run a loop for uh, a then b and for c n square okay and then we can just simply check by this condition like a is great a plus b we can just simply check by this condition we can just run a loop for a then b and then c n cube so time complexity becomes n cube and n cube n is i think uh, n is thousand so n cube means 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power is gives us tle okay so now let's see how we can optimize optimize this okay so there is a hint in this triangle okay we don't need to check three these three conditions there is one trick very simple trick is the two smaller sides of triangle let's see a plus b if these two smaller sides are greater than the largest side of the triangle that means it is a valid triangle okay so we are going to use this trick to solve this question okay Le let's me dry run on one example okay so example is i think okay the first example two two three four let let's take this example two two three four okay okay just add one mo one more numbers like six eight okay now let's see what we are doing in brute force we are doing three pair three numbers okay like running three loops now we already know one trick a plus b is greater than c if it is the valid that means the triangle is valid so to get the largest side we have to sort this array okay this is already sorted array so now we are just running loop from okay this is the largest side okay now what is our a our a is this and b is this why i am choosing a to the last and b to the the these are the h cases okay now let's see just stay with me i am going to explain okay we have to check a condition a plus b if it is greater than c so a plus b is 6 plus 1 it is greater than it no it is not greater than it that means what we need to do we want this value to be increased okay we want this value increase so that's we are just going to increase our left pointer okay this is our a so we are going to increase this now this is point six points to two because array is sorted if you increase our left pointer uh, our value is going to increase and we want that okay let's see two plus six two plus six is eight and eight is not greater than eight so again we have to increase our left pointer again so 2 plus 6 is not greater than it again increase okay c 3 and 6 now this is our valid condition okay like 3 plus 6 it is greater than it 9 is greater than 8 so what is our answer okay let's store here let's see count count is our answer okay okay so this is our first valid triplet okay but the triplets in between our left and right pointers are also valid because when we increase our left pointer our value of left a is al always going to increase okay because array is in the start sorted order and till 6 and this is also valid so 3 6 8 it is a valid triplet if we increase our left pointer this is 4 6 8 this is also valid because we are increasing our uh, left to the left okay and we want this value to be increased so this is valid so the our count is right minus left okay why because inside them everything is valid and that is 2 okay that is 2 right minus left is 2 so our count becomes 2 now 
we check for 3 okay the a now we have to change our b value simply so we can just change our b value b pointers goes here okay now let's check 3 4 and 8 if it is valid or not 4 plus 3 is 7 7 is not greater than okay now increase our left pointer our left pointers points here we want three values okay that means we now we just have two values so we just we this is invalid okay now let's add this we just iterate for our eight value now move to the next value okay six value it's the sixth value right now let's see how we can solve for this okay now our a and b value this is a value this is b value left and right pointers okay so four plus one five is not greater than six so increase our left value so our left value becomes two okay okay now four plus two is six okay now just erase this uh, i am going to change for simplicity this is five let's see this is five okay now let's check let's check guys two plus four if it is greater than five yes it is greater than five that means what is our answer let's see this is the first triplet we got okay this is the first triplet and what we are saying if we got the valid triplet that means our answer is right minus left and that is three okay but let's see this is first valid triplet and uh, if we increase our left pointer two four five this is also valid because in our right side our left pointer value always going to increase because we sorted the array now let's see for three three four and five like four and three is seven and seven is also greater than five that means this is also valid so the main idea is if we sort the array like sorted the array when we increase our left value our a plus b value is also increased till what till four okay so the, our answer is right minus left so right my how right minus left this is the first triplet this is the second triplet and this is the third triplet and right minus left is this is four four minus one is three okay so two plus three is five now our count is five now let's move our right value okay this is our just a second this is our right value move our pointer here okay let's see three plus two is not greater than five so increase our left value left value is here okay so let's see three plus two is not again so we want triplet if we increase again left value so it is just give two values so it is invalid our left pointer is less than right this is our condition now okay now we calculated for five now let's go let's move on to the next value okay the next value is four again what is our a a is one and b is three three plus one is four and four is not greater than four again increase our left value this is our approach what let's uh, we are doing like that okay now let's code it if i hope you understand if you are not able to understand let me know in the comment section okay now we just have to sort array arrays dot sort nums okay now again we have to calculate our count okay this is our answer zero now we have to fix our last value okay that is a uh, c value so c is this okay is this okay let's see let's take here n n is equal to nums dot length okay so i i value is n minus one we are starting from back because we want the largest side to be to calculation for to easy calculation okay so i is greater than equal to not greater than equal to two okay because uh, if we run for this we want triplets okay if we go for zero eighth index we don't have any values here okay if we go till two two index we have we have two values okay this is first value and this is second value because we want three values triplets okay then i minus minus then again our what is our left point left index left index is zero and uh, right index gst right index is i minus one okay now we have to run loop till uh, this is valid left is less than right okay now we have to check if our a plus b a is nums of left plus nums of right if it is greater than nums of 
index this is c okay this is a if a plus b if it is greater than c it is valid otherwise if it is not valid that means we have to increase our values a plus b value increase that for that we have to increase our left pointer okay because array is sorted now if it is a valid then we just simply need to calculate our answer and answer is right minus left okay and after that we have to change our b value and b value how we can change this is how we can change at the end we can just simply return our count let's try to run it yeah it is running let's try to submit it if you are new to the channel make sure to like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt make sure to comment thank you so much for watching